So let's get to some breaking news. Late tonight, the U.S. Supreme Court kept open access to the drug Mifepristone, the most common method of abortion, at least for now. So that access will stay in place while a lawsuit to try to ban the pill continues in the lower courts. It's a process that will likely take months to resolve. Tonight, our John Sherrick has more on what this means to patients and to the larger debate over abortion. The Supreme Court decision is not the final say over the so-called abortion pill, Mifepristone, but for now. What that means is business as usual. Emory University Law School professor Alicia Hughes says the decision gives medical providers some certainty that for now they won't be arrested after all if they prescribe Mifepristone. Telling doctors please continue as you have been with the administration of the pill up to 10 weeks into a pregnancy. Mifepristone is also used to treat patients with certain cancers and abnormal bleeding. And medical providers like Dr. Patricia Kelly Marsh say those treatments are at risk if the courts ultimately ban the pill's use for abortions. It's, it's gonna be really hard to determine if we will be criminalized for using the um, medication for non-abortion causes. Mifepristone has been approved for use in the U.S. since 2000, but the legal attacks against the pill intensified in the past few months after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. And that ruling helped make Mifepristone the next target of those fighting to ban medication abortion. Pro-life advocate Suzanne Guy of Atlanta. I believe, obviously, the abortion pill is wrong no matter what because it ends the life of an innocent human being. So it's likely the fate of the abortion pill will end up back before the U.S. Supreme Court for a final ruling once attempts to ban it are done making their way through the lower courts months from now. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. And as always, when news breaks, make sure you're connected with the 11 Alive News app. Getting it is as simple as scanning that QR code right there on your screen.